Hello again, it's me, the guy with the YouTube channel, and today we are doing another review. Been gone for a little while, but today we're reviewing a fairly obscure figure. Not really rare, just obscure. Today we are reviewing the Ultra Hero Alpha Ultraman Cosmos Corona Mode, and he's actually standing up. I don't have the box for this guy, but the box would have been a blister card, I believe, for the Ultra Hero Alpha figures. And would have had a bunch of weird flashy stuff, and he's out of focus, there we go, and yeah, so anyways, that's out of the way, let's get on to detail, detail is very, very basic with this figure, as you can see, his feet are the basic ultra hero foot shape, this is more basic than the vinyl figures, but yeah, you can see there's a seam right there for where the boot would be, or where the suit would end and the boot would begin, he looks really weird on camera, he doesn't look this red as he does on camera, and you can see, you might notice this little bump, like a raised section around where my fingernail is. And that's also around his wrists, too. And if you're wondering what that is, that's where the boot has actually been tucked underneath the suit. And that's a pretty cool detail that they put in, like, most, even the Ultra Axe, I think, forget that detail. So, it's nice to see it here, but there's no wrinkles or anything. Like, these pattern, the patterns on his body aren't even aren't even sculpted in, they're just painted. Like, this body is exactly the same as the Ultra Hero Alpha Ultraman Cosmos Luna Mode, just with a new head repainted. So if you really wanted to and you had this figure, you could get a vinyl Ultraman Cosmos, cut the head off, put it on this, repaint it, and get an Ultra Hero Alpha Cosmos Corona Mode. But the patterns are nicely done. The back looks really bad. You got speaker holes and screws and battery guff and... Japanese guff and really awkwardly placed screw holes. Yeah, let's not dwell on that. God, imagine what that would feel like. Anyways, color timer looks nice. It's just painted in flat blue, not metallic or anything like the vinyl figures. It looks nice. You got the red thing, continuation of that little dot that he has on his head in Luna mode. His ears, shaped like Zone Fighter's ears. Yeah, not a whole lot to say. The eyes, they're textured, not clear or anything. The head is actually, it can actually come off. Um, yeah, there you see. Pops on. It's actually a ball joint, but the peg is just really long. And actually, that reminds me, I forgot to go over history. Fuck! Well, I'm not gonna start over. We'll just do history right now. Because he is an Ultra, Ultra Man character, so... For history, he appeared, well, he's it's pretty long, so I'm just going to go over the basic gist of it. He's Ultraman Cosmos's second form, which he transforms into when the battle gets too strong. Well, when the kaiju for him is too strong for him. The kaiju he's fighting is too strong. He turns into this mode, which is a much stronger mode than Luna mode. Kind of like Tiga's power type, except there is no third type for Cosmos until, I think, the blue planet. Hmm. Versus Ultraman Justice, the final battle, I don't know. And yeah, it first appeared, this mode first appeared in Ultraman Cosmos, the first contact, where he's fighting Basic Balton, then Basic Balton turns into Neo Balton, and to combat this, Cosmos turns into Corona mode to fight Neo Balton, and then turns back into Luna mode to purify, or calm down, or do whatever to Balton. Alright, now that that's out of the way, back onto the standard schedule for a review. Articulation, the head, like I said, is on a ball joint, but the peg is so long it just gives it a swivel. So, yeah, nothing, not much there. Ball hinge shoulders, which can go 360, up and down. Swivel sort of mid-bicep, then a hinge in the elbow. Nothing in the wrist, nothing in the waist, obviously, for the electronics. Uh, ball jointed knee, or ball jointed thighs, or legs, or whatever. And they can kind of move in and out a little bit, out to the side, forward and backward. But they're not really ball jointed. It really is more the motion of a ball hinge. And a hinge in the knee. That looks really weird. Yeah, that's one of the... And nothing in the ankles, which is one of the few differences between Ultra Hero Alpha figures and Action Hero series figures. The Action Hero series, which were basically the same as this, the only difference was that they had ball jointed ankles. And better proportions in these figures, and the fist didn't curl upward like that, which looked really weird. It looks really weird on these figures. 
So yeah, that's it for articulation. Pretty basic, but back in 2001 when this came out, must have been some pretty damn good articulation. Now for sizing, I don't have any Cosmos monsters, but I'm going to pull out the closest thing I have to Neo Balton or Basic Old Balton. Powered Balton, who is... Oh, I know him there so you can see. But yeah, this is inaccurate. If this was Basic Old Balton, I mean Powered Balton, this is good. But if this was Basic Old Balton, they should be like that big to each other. But yeah... And now, on his standard figures, well, first of all, he is in Ultra Hero Series Ultraman Powered, the 2009 version. Yeah, just to show you what he looks like next to his standard Ultra Hero Series vinyl figure. And, uh, what's this? A new challenger approaches. Well, that was weird. Well, anyways, as you can see here, uh, the sizing is pretty good, well... Actually, what the hell is this thing doing here? Anyways, I don't really have a reason to pull this out. I mean, I just wanted to pull it out to show it. Right, anyways, now on to the standard figures. Here's the standard SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1995 Rebirth version. This probably isn't very accurate, but this is just to show you what this figure looks like next to a somewhat common Monster Arts figure. Next, here is the NECA Godzilla 2014 6-inch version. This is probably very inaccurate as well, but again, just to show you what this looks like next to a very, very common figure that almost everyone has by now. And finally, a standard NECA Pacific Rim Kaiju figure using the most standard body mold, and this is Axe Head. And yeah, this is probably very, very, very inaccurate, and just to show you what he looks like next to a standard reused body mold figure. Re that didn't make much sense. Anyways, now onto the final part of the review, history of the figure and pricing. This figure was originally released in 2001, I believe, 2001 or 2002, might have been 2001, to coincide with the release of Ultraman Cosmos, the first contact, alongside the Ultra Hero Alpha Ultraman Cosmos Luna Mode. I don't know how much it was when it came out, and actually this is a pretty hard to find figure. It's not rare. I paid $10 for this. And one thing I forgot to go over was the sound gimmick. It doesn't work anymore. Batteries died. But you would press it once and it would make it two explosion noises. Press it again and would go, yeah, yeah. And it would sound really bit crunched and weird. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't normally see the Ultra Hero Alpha figures for sale. I normally see the Action Hero Series figures. And the Action Hero Series figures range from like, up to... $50 I've seen sometimes, so yeah, I don't know if that means the Ultra Hero Alpha figures go for the same amount of money or are cheaper. Again, I paid $10 for this at GFest 21, and if you're looking for this figure, I would suggest paying around what I paid for it. And for a rating, I'm going to give this figure 8 out of 10. Well, that's being pretty generous. I'll give it a Give it a six and a half out of ten. It's not a bad figure. It's just that, well, it's pretty hard to find, even though it's very cheap. And with the recent release of the Ultra Act Ultraman Cosmos Luna Mode, and Ultra Act Ultraman Cosmos Corona Mode is probably soon to follow. So by the time you've found this and got it, an Ultra Act version of this will probably be out. Cosmos fail. Anyways, as I always say, Shamama Jamo. It means I accidentally ate the whole thing.